here is a splitting hoop. So this is a design that's it says it's 3.16 by 9.42 and I only have a 5 by 12 hoop because I have a PE770 brother machine. So I need to make it into a repositionable hoop and then I need to cut the design. So I go to options, I go to hoops and I select this one, jumbo overlap and now da -da -da -da, here you go. Now you see that this hoop has three positions. There's position one and you click this button and it'll tell you what position one area is. It has a position two and that's this green area and then there's a position three. And that's this blue area. And I see that there are areas, for instance, I'm going to unclick two now. So for just a position one and a position three hoop, I have this area here right in this heart area that needs to be cut. So if I try right now to just save it as is, file, save as, and here's my 5x12 folder, and I press save, yes, it'll give me this message. The following color blocks must be cut, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because these color blocks cross, cross over the boundaries of the P1 and P3 hoop areas. So now I need to manually cut this design so that it'll save. So up here there's this thing, open cutting toolbar, open. I'm going to select points. Now you can do this any number of ways. Sometimes it's easy enough to just make a big square and cut it that way. I'm going to select points because I'm going to make three cuts. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around everything but this heart. Because this heart crosses into area 2 there, so it's too big for the area 1. I'm just going to very carefully click. These are my cutting points. This is so very helpful because I can very well customize so that I don't have any cut stitches. See, that's what I want to avoid. I want to avoid cut stitches. Now, I'm going to have to enlarge this here. I'm going to have to enlarge this so that I can carefully cut around this area. So remember the red is hoop area 1 and I want to cut around. So after I've enlarged it, now I can see, keep clicking, click, click. Make sure that I'm not cutting any stitches. All right, now I can make bigger clicks because there's nothing here, All right? I'm going to have to cut this pattern at least twice. So here, I'm going to get back to my original point, click it so that they match, and I'm going to say cut pattern. And you'll see that that adds a few jump stitches. Don't worry about that. You can either erase those with this cute little eraser here, or you can leave them and just walk the machine through those points. Now, I need this heart by itself. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to do this again. This cutting again with this bottom section. Right? I'm going to cut this section. So I'm going to again, I have still select points and I'm just going to start clicking. Click, click, make my little, it's like a little lasso around the area that I want cut only because you know I don't have like a touch screen where I can quickly just draw around it with my fingers I have to draw around it with these points which is you know it's really not a big deal you start doing this a couple of times I'll make sure I don't cut any stitches there it's going well click click now I can do my big clicks because I'm not in the open area here. And matched up my first point, so I have completed my circle and I say cut pattern. I'm gonna zoom out again. There we go. It's cut now. I have what it, it says I have 15 color changes now, and I can go through these one by one if I wanted. So this is one, two, 
three, and I'm making sure, I'm just double checking here that my my cuts worked. And oh, here we go to the side, I have six, and if I want I can put the arrow around it so that I know that now my cuts are all contained. So my heart is contained that I cut here, I unclick this, my heart here is contained in hoop area two. See, you see that? It's contained in hoop area two. Now this one, this section is contained in hoop area one. So now if I just do this file, save as, and I make sure I save it where I want it, and it's in my five by 12 fo folder, and I press save. Aha! Positional hoop has also been saved as individual hoop files with suffixes P1, P2, P3. You should only edit the original unsplit file. Alright, so now it says that it has in 2, 1, 3, and you don't have to follow that. You can start with 1, 2, and 3. It doesn't really matter. If I go to my file now, and I go to my 5 by 12 folder, you'll see my elegant heart that I just split now has three P1, see it's elegant heart 5 by 12, which is my file name, underscore P1. So this is the file for position 1, this is the file for position 3, and this is the file for position 2, and I'll need to load all of those on my machine and stitch it out. So, there you go, that's how you split the file. If I wanted, I could, uh, I could open one of those here, say this one. If I wanted to and I needed to, I can add this and then I can do something like basting stitch around pattern. Now you have to be careful in a design like this with this basting stitch because you remember that heart is going to go right here. So this basting stitch may or may not be so useful in this case. I've had situations where I actually use this box to double check my alignment because sometimes, you know, the fabric starts stitching on the machine and then you move the hoop around and what that can do is the process of stitching kind of pulls the fabric a little bit, right? And so when you move to position two, the design will be ever so slightly off now because of just the nature of embroidery which kind of shifts the fabric around. No matter how well you have it hooped, it will shift the fabric around a little bit. So you really need to realign it every time. So when you use your repositionable hoop, make sure that you mark the centers. And by the centers, I mean, uh, I mean like the centers of the five, the, this hoop, the position one hoop, the center of the position three hoop, and the, the center of the P2 hoop. So you need to mark those centers, and I'll do another video of marking those centers another time. So you can see that I've been doing a lot of work with these um, 5 by 12 hoop stuff here. It's really pretty fun. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful. If I get a chance, maybe I'll make another video of actually stitching this out, but of course that takes a while, so I'll need to find one that simple. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful, and have a very nice day.